بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Okay, so let's continue today about the holy book or the holy scripture of the Bible and we have talked about uh, the Bible that it was divided to two uh, the Old Testament and the New Testament uh, today I will be only talking about the Old Testament I will be talking about the books and uh, some of the discrepancies and some of the changes that have been done over the years and uh, it's very important to know that so when you are making any argument uh, about the Bible uh, you would know uh, at least the keys how you can uh, talk about it and um, in what aspect can you argue about it with non-muslims so uh, let's talk about the old testament first uh, we said last time that it is divided to three parts first is the torah second the ketuvim and third is the nevuim the torah uh, it is said that it they were revealed from god to moses peace be upon him the ketuvim are the historic books and the poems and the nevuim are the books that they were written by the prophets and because uh, we have the torah ketuvim and nevuim uh, they took the first two letters of each one so we have Tanaka or Tanakh so what is the Old Testament we can call it the Tanakh now for the Torah there is another name for it is called Pentateuch and it means the five books and those five books are Genesis Exodus Leviticus numbers and Deuteronomy Genesis talks about the beginning of the world and how God created this world and then it talks about the chronological time between Adam until Moses peace be upon him and after his death and then we have Exodus is the book when the Israelites entered the land of Canaan or what we call now Israel and then the Leviticus talks about the rulings and the Moses rules and law and uh, it is specialized for the tribe of the Leviticus they are the chosen tribe by God to be the priests and the mediation between God and the people and then we have the numbers talks about the numbers of the tribes the population and the numbers of the population with their names and everything so basically it's it's just the statistics and the numbers of people and then Deuteronomy it talks about the Moses law and some of the events that happened at the time of Moses peace be upon him now as you see here in the table uh, we have the, the Hebrew in the Hebrew Bible what are those names of these books and then um, what are uh, you know if they are exist in the Protestant Bible and the Catholic Roman Orthodox and what is the original language for for uh, for them so we have the five books we see that uh, the books that they were discovered they were in the original language which is the classic Hebrew the old Hebrew now the old Hebrew uh, in the manuscripts are different than our Hebrew in our days then we go to the Ketuvim, they are the historic books and as you see that we have the names for them in the Hebrew Bible and uh, the ones that they are in green that means their order in the Hebrew Bible is different than the other Bibles so for, you, for example we have Ruth or what we call in Arabic Ra'uth is different actually it is not the third book of the Ketuvim I think it's like towards the end and they, then we have also the Chronicles first and second they're also in the hebrew bible different than the other books and then we have the book of israel which does not exist in the protestant catholic or the roman orthodox book the, it is only exist in the hebrew bible then we have the book of nahamia and uh, um, in the protestant bible it is called ezra but in the catholic they're called the Esdras first and the language that they were spoken in that book is actually the Hebrew language 
and some of these books are in Greek like for example the one that is called Ezra in the Hebrew Bible it's in Greek language originally but it does not exist in the other books and so we have Joshua, Judges, Ruth, Samuel 1st, Samuel 2nd and I know that it's in the Hebrew Bible they're called only Samuel they are not divided by 1st and 2nd the same thing with the book of Kings uh, we have Kings first and Kings second in all the other Bibles, but in the Hebrew Bible we only have one book, which is Kings, and they are actually combined. The Kings one and second they're combined together. And then we have Chronicle first, Chronicle second. Uh, those are historic books talking about the kings and the exiles. We have Ezra and then Nehemiah and so on. So there are a little different in the way that they are in order and the naming. Now let's go to the second one. We see that the only book that it does exist in all the Bibles, which is Esther's, which is really weird because I'm going to be talking about Esther's um, in details. Esther's has a special story that uh, talks about the, the Queen Esther, that she was married to a non-Israeli king and uh, it is said that she actually saved her own people the Israelites but if you look at that book it is more of a historic book than actually a book from God because the word God was never mentioned in that book subhanAllah we have the books of Tobit, Judith, Maccabean 1st, Maccabees 2, Maccabees 3 and those books were written in the Hellenistic time, which is about 300 uh, years before Jesus Christ. And that's why you don't, you don't see them exist in the Protestant or the Hebrew Bible. And they are not considered a book of God. They're considered like apocryphic. But however, however, the Catholic and the Roman Orthodox, they consider them as the books of God. Ketuvim, some of those books also like Jobs, Psalms, Psalms of David. Uh, by the way, Psalms has about 150 chapters. Only 23 of them are considered written by David or Dawood alayhi salam, David peace be upon him. All the other books in Psalms are written by other priests and other people. Uh, we have the prayers of Manasseh, they are only in the Roman Orthodox uh, Bible, but they do not exist in the Catholic, Protestant, or the Hebrew Bible. Uh, all these books in green, that means the order of these books in the Hebrew Bible different than the order in the Protestant, Catholic, or Roman Orthodox. They have a different order. We have the Proverbs that uh, it is said it was written by Solomon, Suleiman alayhi salam. And we have the Escalasiastes, and it's very much like the Proverbs. It has many of the quotes and wisdom in it. But no one knows who wrote it. No one knows. It's uh, considered that it was written by Anonymous. We have the Songs of Solomon. This one also I will be talking about in details. And then we have the Book of Wisdom and we have the Book of Sirah or the Excelasticus. And this book also does not exist in the Protestant or the Hebrew Bible, but it is in the Catholic and Roman Orthodox. Now for the books of Nebuim or Nebuim, we have the Book of Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, and then we have the Book of Baruch and letters of Jeremiah those do not exist in the Protestant or the Hebrew Bible the book of Baruch does exist in the Catholic and the Roman Orthodox but letter of Jeremiah is only in the Roman Orthodox Bible we have the book of Azakiel which is Haskiel and we have also the book of Daniel um, the book of Daniel we have also some additions to it in the Catholic and the Roman Orthodox Bible and some of them were written in the Aramaic and the Hebrew language. The letter of Jeremiah was written in the Greek language and so on. For all these prophetic books they're called the major prophetic books because they are long. They are like over than 10 chapters and they are longer version. They're just like you know 
there are so many pages and there are so many chapters in those books however in the next one if you go to the uh, there are about 11 I believe 11 uh, prophets that they wrote book but those books are very short they're like less than 10 chapters and they are like Hosea Joel Amos Obadiah Jonah Micah Nahum Habakkuk Safania Haggai Zechariah Malachi and of course the book of Zechariah over here is different than the Zechariah the father of John the Baptist or Yahya this book was written about 400 years before Jesus Christ and the name Zechariah is very common actually in the Bible so you will see about three or four people that they were named Zechariah in the Bible in general all these were written in the Hebrew language and um, they're called the minor prophets uh, they actually appeared between 600 to 400 before Jesus Christ at the time of the exiles of the Assyrian uh, Babylon and also the Persian exile